everybody. Welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we're doing a wreath. I, I have a number of wreaths in the shop and I like, but I like to have a mix. You know, there's some people that really like the traditional. They want to have um, just greenery and, you know, maybe red berries and some pine cones. Other people, you know, might want um, blue and silver wreath or somebody wants their wreath with greenery and gold or you know maybe they want something whimsical with snowmen and so there's always a bit of a balancing act when it comes to the season in terms of what kind of decorations are you doing and I try to have a little bit of variety so not necessarily everything exactly how I decorate for the holidays, but a bit of variety so that we can have something that's going to appeal to just about anybody. So the inspiration for this wreath, just before we get started, and I'm going to pull you in over top so that you're here for the designing part. Um, and what I like to do before I start doing any of that is just kind of zhuzh your wreath out, right? So you want it, all the little greenery strands and I'll do that before I pull you in all plumped up and nice and straight you know they've been squished down because of storage or um, maybe this is a wreath that you're reusing so you've taken off previous decorations so before we start so that we have an idea of where all the greenery lies I like to get it all zhuzhed up looking nice before I then start moving it to accommodate the direct the 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 baubles and all of the ornaments and, and decorations that I'm going to be adding. So the inspiration for this one, I'm, I'm doing a little bit colorful, is these Christmas balls. Oh, I love these guys. So they're white with these colorful dots that are all in kind of sparkles. So we're going to be using that as the basis. So I'm going to want to put those in and then we'll um, add in some additional filler, some additional items. So I'm excited to get started. First step, we're going to zhuzh this up and then we're just going to start to lay out the items that we have, the ornaments, any of the decorations that you've got. So we don't glue anything in place until we have that all laid out so that we can move and shift and kind of accommodate things. That's the plan. Let me pull you in up top. Okay, I'm gonna try and work around this without um, getting my fat head in the way. So the first thing that I want to do is I wanna start with what my main item is, the one that I definitely want to include. And I just want to roughly look at kind of what would the spacing of these be? So before I do anything else, I wanna see how can I get these around? You're gonna notice, all right, just stay, don't fall on the ground. You're gonna notice that I'm gonna try and leave a little bit of space open, um, which will accommodate the bows that I want to include. So I'm not gonna try and take this completely all the way around, right? So I'm not filling that gap because that ultimately is where those bows are gonna go. But it seems like I started getting very close toward the end. And uh, okay, overall, that's not bad. Okay, so then, throw that on the ground. So then once that's done, I'm pulling up the big bag of balls that I put together as possible. Now, I didn't have many of the blue guys. I think maybe only the three. So I am kind of hurting. But I have 
three of these big sparkly ones with ornament hooks on them. So I am going to try and space them out a little bit. Maybe I have, they're in a different tone. Okay, I don't mind that being in a bit of a pinkier tone. All right. Cool. I have some red that are not sparkly. And I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. Let me do the blue sparkles first. So a little bit of a blue there and there and maybe right there. I'm going to want to make sure that I glue those where I can really see them. And then I can pop these red ones in. How many do I have? Um, just here and there, periodic, to kind of start to balance that out a bit. I might want one just tucked down in there anyway. And I have one more. Mm, not sure. I'm thinking maybe down there. I have more of the pinks. I got this little box from the dollar store only because I wanted, I wanted a little pop of white. So, oh, let's get those out. They look like little ping pong balls. But I just wanted a little bit of white here and there to balance off with those the white in those balls. Okay. So this is this is kind of where you go. You take a look at what have I got? How does it look? I got some little teeny white ones too. And I don't mind the different sizes of some of these balls, right? That, that we've got a little bit of a variety in the size and the shape and the patterning, which just gives a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of a, of a fun element to it so that they don't all look super repetitive, you know? Okay. So, so far, I'm going to have to stand up where you guys are so I can take a look at this. But so far, I'm not minding the ball situation. I have to look from higher up to be able to see overall. And uh, now I just need to start to look and see what else do I have or want to include. Okay, so what I do have is a number of these picks from the dollar store. And what I'm wondering and I'm playing with now is whether if I cut them in half, if just tucking them in here and there around the wreath, you can see I have a couple in there. If that just adds maybe like a little bit of a textural element. I mean, with them being white, it starts to kind of have a little bit of a, a look of snow without my frosting everything, but just kind of breaking up the um, plain pine look with adding these in. So at this point, we can tuck anything in <laughs> and we haven't glued anything. So it's not a big deal because if we decide we don't like it, we get to move it, right? And that's that's part of the beauty of this, is that we get to play. I, don't, I can't see that one. So I might want this in here. Okay, let me add a bit more. I just stood up tall on a chair looking down at my tabletop and I'm kind of digging this. I like it with the little white things. So the next step, of course, is taking my glue gun and starting to glue them all in place. So 
That's the next step. And you could take each of these balls and wire them in place if you would prefer. Um, I just find it easier for me to start at one section and just start gluing my way around um, so that I know what's been glued and what hasn't. Okay, to make my bow. Now, I am gonna fully confess, I am not the best bow maker in the world. My mom is awesome. Me? Eh, not so much. So, what I do wanna do is I wanna do a fairly substantial bow, though. I wanna have a little oomph to it and pizzazz. So I do have this polka dotted. Now this has kind of got green sparkles versus the blue, but I think that once I get all the rest of the bow together and stuff, you're not gonna notice. I'll make it and then I'll see, right? If it looks really wrong, I'll take it out. But, you know, I think it'll be okay. So in just kind of determining length here, I just wanna kinda of see where I can go from here. So if I had a bunch of loops, my mom does this really loopy bow. That would be cool. Where, where is your mother when you need her? She's at home. She's, she's just at home and then she'll be watching this video later and, and she, will, she will critique me. <laughs> All right, so I have a lacquer ribbon. Um, what I did was I just kind of tried to roughly do some um, loops that gave me a little bit of variety. I also have this red ribbon um, with sparkly polka dots and I have the silver rhythm ribbon with polka dots and I just kind of thought they're sort of in theme. So let's, let's try, because making bows wasn't enough, no, I have to layer my bow. Just add an extra level of complication for me. Now you could layer your bow uh, by making a bow and making another bow and another bow and then just attach them together. You could do that. I could do that. I may have to do that. I don't know, we'll see. I thought I could just kind of do them all together at once and then sort of zhuzh them apart afterwards. All right, so all I'm trying to do is get roughly the same amount of ribbon and have them, mm -hmm. I need space here. Have them all kind of lined up. Now, I wanna at least sort of find the middle. There we go, okay. If I do, that's my tail. Then I could do, here comes one loop. Now the one thing about these, because I have a right side and I have a wrong side for my ribbon. So when my, my loop comes here, I actually have to twist it to come in the opposite direction so that it's all right side up again. Does that make sense? So I have to hold that twist. So whenever it crosses, yeah, three is a little more challenging. So when I get here, I need to twist so that I could them all facing the same way so that I have I'd like a circle in the center okay I'm gonna worry about my circle last I think I could just wire that in so if I just do these make my loop a little bit bigger here then I could and I have a piece of wire ready so my bow I'm gonna wire I'm gonna wire it together so I want to have enough here to do this. And then I'm going to wire it on to my wreath rather than gluing it. I just find it easiest to do this way. And so once I have it secure, I just like wrapping that wire around a couple more times 
just to hold it in place. And then I can twist it to secure it. And then that's ready to add on. Now, because I did those layers, I am able to pull them apart. I can zhuzh it out this way so that I can get a very full looking bow onto my wreath. And then I will cut off the tails once I've attached it. Now, because it's a little barren in the center, and I'm thinking, I'm likely gonna be cutting this ribbon off about here. I was wondering if I could create a little center loop. Okay, I'm gonna glue these together. They're gonna be at the bottom. These are very thin, so I'm trying not to uh, glue me. Um, there is a way to tie your bow so you have that loop in the center. <laughs> Some of you are probably out there fully in the know. You know exactly how to do that. Me? No, I don't. Okay, so then this part is ready. I'm just going to trim up these edges so that they're not going to show all the rough sections. And then that's ready to attach as well. So this is the bow that I'm gonna attach onto that wreath and um, just zhuzh it out and then that one's done. So I thought that while I had glue out, so let me just put that off to the side. So I'll attach that onto the wreath. Y'all know how to do that. Um, I just wanted to play with another little bobble craft. So this video was just going to be the wreath, but I had this other idea that I want to do, so you might as well be here for it. So I thrifted this little tray for $3. I mean, how could you not pick that up, right? And actually, I think it was $3, and it's either 20% or 30% off, so really, even better. And I have a whack of little ornaments, and what I'm thinking is that I want to make a little Christmas tree of these. So all that I wanna do is see how far, okay, I can fit four, and I just wanna get them spaced out nicely here. All right, so I am going to glue these four down in place. And I'm turning them, I'm gluing them in place with that ornament hook down so that it just helps stabilize them, right? And then it's going to... Yikes. <laughs> well, it didn't get me, and normally it would get me, so that was pretty good. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I get them semi-straight here. Novel concept. And the spacing's not too bad. Okay, so good. I'm just trying not to lean into that hot glue down there. Um, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my next row. And again, I'm gonna try and tuck, oops, I'll show you from the back, tuck that ornament hook down. So, I mean, there's gonna be a good side and a bad side to this, but at least it's gonna look sort of orderly <laughs> from the back. Um, so I just want to see where that glue needs to be here. Oh, I need another stick. I went through three of these for the wreath and, uh, now I'm just adding an additional for this guy. Okay, so I have a tray of three, six, nine balls, and this is going to take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> of course, of course, 
for this. It's going to take 10. Okay, and that's really quite stable. So I could, and I may, do it all red, in which case that's what it would look like. That top one's just balancing there. Um, but let me go and see about options. I don't know. This is kind of like the beauty of this is that if you did them all in one color, whatever that color happens to be, whether it was all gold or all silver or blue or the red, then you you could be done. You don't necessarily need anything else. You could add some greener if you choose. You could add uh, pine cones or little gold ball, bells or balls or, you know, whatever that kind of complements what you're doing. So I'm going to take a look at what I've got and then see what I may do to the top. Um, this was kind of unplanned. So let me go peek. Now that this is dried and I've looked at it, I, from a distance, it looks awesome. Up close, you can see where I've glued because I didn't do, you know, I thought it was being neat, but you can see the glue. And you know what? You don't care. You could be done. I, however, have discovered that I care. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it a little bit of a step further, which, you know, sometimes you just roll with it. So I have these little sprigs that came from the dollar store on this little wreath form. So I took it apart and I've just taken these little sprigs out and I'm just going to glue, I think six of them maybe in here because they tend to be a little bit full. And I'm gonna, oh my good, good goodness. I'm gonna take some branches, put them on the bottom and nestle in maybe some red berries and some pine cones. So I'm just zhuzhing a little bit. So you can see, got a little bit of glue on the front there. That just kind of rolls right off. You can see how I'm just adding that green in there. And um, then I'll carry on. Let's take a final look at our two projects. Now, neither of these took a long time. So, you know, if, if you're looking at wanting to create something and judging it, the hardest part is just making sure that you have the stuff that you need. And even then, you know, if you've got a craft stash, you just start pulling things together. So this was kind of a last minute idea, but I had the base and, um, you know, I had the extra bottles. I'm gonna be pulling glue threads off it still for a little bit, but I like how it looks and I like the simplicity of it. I had debated adding um, gold into it and okay, what about a topper? And then I decided, no, sometimes you just have to stand back and say, you know what, you're done. More, I think would be Moorish. So I love it how it is. I love the simplicity of it. I think that that's a cute little table topper and um, yeah, a little bonus project because I wasn't planning on doing that, but you know, there you go, <laughs> the wreath. I loved those ornaments and I love how this one turned out. I think it's fun, it's colorful, it's a little bit funky. It's a little bit different from a uh, Christmas perspective, but I'm a little different from a Christmas perspective. I don't like everything to be totally traditional all of the time. I don't mind doing traditional and I, and I like that in a lot of respects, but you know what? Sometimes I just wanna say, hey, this house is a lot of fun. So this was just a wreath inspired by that. I needed something a little different for the front of the shop. This is gonna fit the bill. And now I have an extra bonus project as well. Let me know what you think of this one, guys. Let me know if I went too far on either of them. Love to hear from you. And I definitely look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, take care. <laughs>